used to coming down on the ball. Actually, it works good on this. Make sure that you square the ball up to hit the right angle. Make sure you're balanced. And you don't have to go right back at it to wait for your timing to get back. Make sure you hit it again solidly. Balance, let it spin back. It's right there. Square it up again. There's a lot of different drills you can do. Obviously, you can you can hit it, try to get it back, and hit it again. But for me, I think the right technique is just to make sure you square that ball up. You don't have to worry about how fast it comes back. You get set, look at the pitcher, look like the ball is coming, hit it again. I look out at the mound, the ball's coming in, I get set, get my rhythm, hit it again. Get set, get my rhythm, wait for the ball to come back, square it up again. I think that's the most important thing is that you're making solid contact. And the beautiful thing about this is that you can challenge yourself because even when you hit it solid, that ball is going to have a little bit of movement on it. Just because the bounce in the, in the springs of the bands keeps the ball moving a little bit. When we see breaking balls, we see balls that come at us. They're not always 100% straight. They're moving in, they're moving out. And this will focus, make you focus on squaring that ball up with the barrel. So I think the RBI Vortex is great for having that imagination, looking out the pitcher and having that ball come into your swing plane and making sure that you make solid contact every time. And like you said, you can, you can move the ball in, move the ball out and vary the speeds. But for me, for the younger kids, I'm not gonna tell them to hit it and get back to back. Make sure they hit it, stay square, get set again, look at the pitcher. When that ball comes back, we wanna take that same swing, repeat it. Gets right back. It's just like taking batting practice without having to go get the ball. It's a good pace. Good confident swing, come back, get set, look at the pitcher. Wait for that ball to come back and square it up. Keep your head still. Force you to keep your head in the right plane. Wait for it to come back. Get in that same position. Square it up again. Same thing. You can take your time every time. Or again, like I said, as you get better, you can challenge yourself and try to hit it before you get a lot of set. But as you can see, the ball is going to be moving quite quickly. But I think it's a great teaching tool. Gives you that 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 balls out on without a tee on a on a solid object. It's moving. Take the bat head to the ball. Keep your head still and uh, have fun with it.